get this rolling. Everybody's going to be coming in a little bit later on, as always. I hope that you do enjoy the stream. Uh, like always, though, I am um, streaming to uh, multiple locations, so bear with me. I won't be able to put uh, any music on. So, yeah, got to check to make sure it is actually streaming on YouTube, though. So let me go ahead and go there real quick, because that is the main dish. YouTube is the main bay. <sighs> what is going on here? All right, let's see what I just got. Got a Twitch notification, so that means it's good on Twitch. Let's go check D Live. This YouTube is being a pain in the buttocks. Let's see what's going on there. All right, so I went to D Live and apparently I had my volume up. And uh, so that's good. Uh, let's go to YouTube and see if YouTube is cooperating. Let's close out of YouTube. Let's open another window, see what we got going on. Yep, there you go. Open another window. And let's go ahead and pass this over to Twitter. Uh, let's see what happens. All right. Close that out. Close that out. Seems like we had reading the gas was here earlier. I don't know if he's still around, but uh, it's a good channel. It does a lot of um, he reads the gospel. So simple enough. Simple enough. Oh, let me get back on the stream yard. Make sure that um, I don't have anybody in the green room. All right. So today. I am going to be uh, <laughs> Chrono Mechanics Run and Quarter Ultimate Edition. All right, stiff competition as always on every Wednesday. We got nobody on. All right, so today I'm going to be working on on a piece that El Guapo sent me. Took a picture of the physical page and went ahead and digitized it so I can work on it. I really haven't been able to work on the physical stuff lately. Not as much as I want to. What's up, Marcus? How you doing, brother? I'm just sitting here. You know how I do. I start and people join. The cheeseburger legend. Marcus Gibbons. <laughs> trusty sidekick says he's booting up. All right, Trusty, take your time, brother. No rush. Uh, like I said, I just just starting, and you know how I do. I started up, you know. Maybe I should. Uh, Maybe roll um, some YouTube-friendly music. I don't know. See if we can find some. Uh... Shoot. I sent it to you the other day. I think I can play it. Let's see what happens. But I don't think it will. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think it will broadcast. Will it broadcast? Time will tell. Let's see. All right, skip that. <coughs> Man, we're doing good, bro. You know, 
can't complain, man. Another day, another dollar. You know, how are you doing, Marcus Givens? Seems like it's just us, just the three of us. Let's see if it did. You can also find me on Mixer. Trust. All right, so it's working. Okay, nice. Nice. That's good, man. It gets some some uh some exposure. Can't get mad at that. Maybe I should have just not streamed and did video games tonight. Just chilled out. <laughs> Speaking of El Guapo, this is an El Guapo right here. This is an El Guapo piece. El guapo, guapo, guapo. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see. Hmm. So here we go. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Let's see what happens. I don't think y'all can hear this, <laughs> but maybe, maybe. Let's see. Wapple's getting his game on. Nice, 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 nice. That is good. We're just chilling. We got to let Wapple get his game on. Your boy trusty. Hold on. Oh. What's up, trusty man? <laughs> no hurry. No hurry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just I don't even have my camera aimed in the right place. Jeez. Yeah. You you're doing a crotch comics. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Hey, but you remember, remember, remember back when Rick would have his, have his camera pointed and, and everything would be upside down? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everybody's come a long way, man. Everybody's learning yeah. how to stream, you know, and doing big things, you know. So can't I can't get mad. Nah. Can't get mad at nobody. Oh, that's too thick. So, uh. So Dina, and Dina's tearing them up. Well, yeah, where? Yeah, at? she she won the fan edition, then won the pro edition. Now she's back on fan edition. I don't know. I hope she doesn't turn into another Malin. <laughs> uh, I hope not. No, nah, <laughs> Dina's a good person, man. Yeah, we love Dina. I I, I don't want to go vote over there tonight because I, I got too many friends. I don't I don't want to vote for one over the other. Shinobi's in the maybe house. I'll, as well. Maybe I'll abstain courteously. <laughs> and good hey, press says he's at the post office. How's it going? Mail hey, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Shinobi. 
my uh, I, my two Capcom pieces got got some attention <laughs> yesterday and today. Oh, nice. yeah. And I liked your cherry blossom red rooster piece. <laughs> Mitch liked it too. When I first saw you working on it, the the coloring, I couldn't tell if she had just had stars on her chest or if there was actually a shirt. <laughs> well, the red rooster shirt is white, and I thought, and every other, I didn't want to use a true gray be, because of uh, it wouldn't look right. So I figure, why not go for a more something that looks a little warm, maybe a warm gray somewhere around there. The problem is the red rooster shirt is white. <laughs> yeah, and and the what I was looking at the stream on, you know, I, I didn't have very good color on it, so I, that's right. why I couldn't tell. I was like, okay, is, is he, you know, is he going more risque, or am I just not seeing the shirt properly? You weren't seeing the shirt properly. <laughs> there you go. Very good. Yep. Of course, it was cross comic stream. Of course, yeah, that that explains a lot. Anyway, uh, Manny says he's at the post office building the first batch. All right. Yeah. Girls. Girls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, we got to get the yeah. He's got to get those comics out on time. No, he's already on time. He has a lot of orders to fill. Yep. Yeah, he does have a lot of orders, but it's all good, man. I mean, I'm I'm very happy for him. Yep. I'm excited for everybody that that partook it. So I can't even get mad. You know, speaking of which, did Manny uh, pull his campaign from Indiegogo yet? Probably. He said he would. We can check, but I would think so because he said that he was going to he was going to uh, pull it out of demand as soon as he was ready to fulfill. Yeah. Of course, listening to some of the, the bigger guys, you know, sometimes apparently it, it takes a couple of days after you tell them to, to pull it. You're right. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> International is killing me, says Manny. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it is. I bet international is killing you. Yep. I should know be the JF hater, JD hater. I don't know what he means by that. Oh, Dillard. <laughs> Why did Dillard do this time? He was on uh, the... Uh... He was on the cross comic stream earlier. I didn't catch it. Yeah. I was uh playing Outer Worlds. Oh. How's that? Good. I like it. Downloaded it on PC, but it doesn't cross save, so I have to start all over again. Oh I ah. Nah, I didn't care, man. It's one of those games I don't mind. Right. Actually, I deleted it and started it one more time. So this is my third time go round. Oh. I haven't completely finished the game, but I kind of uh, didn't like didn't like this some of the scenarios. Mm -hmm. Right. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm gonna go back in time. <laughs> Traveling back in time. Fix this because I don't like what I did there. Then right. I realized no matter what I did, somebody had to die. I was like, doggone it. Huh. I usually yeah. don't kill innocent people. I, I've had that happen a couple of times. There was one mission in uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey. No matter what I did, both uh, both people died. I was like, oh, all right, fine. Guess I got to stay oh. dead. Yeah, I didn't want to kill either one. I just wanted them to work yeah. together. I was trying not to kill yeah. anybody off. Like at least not innocent people. Like this is seated Final Fantasy Ten like that. Um you 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 uh, head off you head to the uh you head to like a rendezvous point and depending on there's the one guy on outpost, he doesn't really want to he wants to be on the front lines, but they put him on guard duty and um uh, depending and whether he lives or dies, depending on 
what advice you give him. Mm. If you tell him to obey, you you tell him to follow orders, he lives. You tell him to go rogue, he dies. Yeah, with this case, I didn't have no choice. Right. I, I was trying to save two villages, right, by making them work together. But apparently, yeah. the village leaders didn't want didn't get along. I was hoping that right. one of the leaders could be the leader, and the other one would just be okay. But no, they made the other leader yeah. wander off into the yeah. wilderness, which yeah. means he died. You know, yeah. let me finish, man. Which means he died. So. <laughs> And then when yeah. I did it the other way, then the other lady died of starvation. And I was like, man, I can't I can't win with this one right here, bro. Nope. I like so either either an old lady starves or an old dude dies in the wilderness. And I'm like, man, this is tough. This is tough. Well, if you well if you tell well, if you tell the younger guy to go rogue, his uh superior is ends up be, ends up dying. Yeah. See, and uh, and then all depends. Like, who's the worst? Who's the bad person, man? How do you make those decisions? Who that? Who's who deserves to, to live? Who deserves to die? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't want to make that decision, man. I was just all I wanted to do was get the mission done. But I played that mission four times, and there was no way around it. No way around it. Which which was saddening. It, it made me sad. It made me sad. Right. But better them than me. Right. So. <laughs> Marcus says, make sure to smack those likes. Thanks, Marcus, man. Greatly appreciate it. Hope everybody's right. doing good. I haven't even gone on my own stream and hit a like yet. But uh yeah. Right. I'll probably, I'll probably do that domani. Tomorrow. Good idea. And just keep an eye out on everything. Yep. So everything is good. All right, back to StreamYard to make sure everything is good. All right, cool, yeah. man. So yeah, man. So yeah, I played that mission a couple of times just just to right. just to make sure. Yeah. You know, and I was like, oh man, they they're gonna die. <laughs> I don't wanna die. I don't want you to die. I want to, you know, because I don't, it's not my thing, man. All I want to do is repair my spaceship so I can get off this stupid planet. Right. But apparently, when I repair my ship, I take a power regulator, and depending on which village I take the power regulator from, that's what that's what determines who, uh, who what, when, where, and why. Right. So, you know, and I needed my power regulator. Cause I need right. to get off that. I need to get off that planet. Cause I got to save about four hundred other people. Right. It's tough being me in that game. <laughs> it's tough, man. I got. I got. I got this thing where I like to save people. Right. right. Nothing wrong with that. You know. Nothing wrong. That's all I try to do, man. I just try to save people. Kill marauders. Save innocent people. Yeah. They're, they're NPCs, but, but, you know, they deserve to live. Yeah. yeah. At least I try to let them live a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. There we go. Got it. There we go. Yeah, that's, but it's all good, man. You know, life is beautiful. Can't complain. You know, I'm oh. still alive. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's all that matters. Yep. I'm still alive. Let's see. All right, back to your regular schedule inking. All right. Make sure. All right, so everybody's cool. So yeah, so drawn and quarter fan edition. We got we got two two of the two of the heavy hitters gonna be on there. So El Wapo's out there doing some some things. And uh, and tonight they're doing uh, Art Kibera's Chrono Mechanics. So Art's a guest. Now that's what that is. I was like, man, what the heck is Chrono <laughs> Mechanics? Yeah. 
Did this book ever come out? Black and white? Yeah. I think he posted a video of him signing copies. Okay, cool. Might have been might have even been today. Cool. That's another one that I'm waiting on. Right. <laughs> another one. And another one. So what can you do? I saw there was an, another project on um uh, oh. I think it was on Indiegogo that had um, Matt Weldon art. It was an earlier one. They were collecting it as a trade plus ultra. Mm -hmm. it, it looked there pretty good, go. but uh, I mean, it's like $40, you know, before shipping just for the one physical copy of the book. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah. They get, they, these, these, uh, these campaigns are getting a little, uh, getting pricier and pricier. Right. You know, the whole idea was that as they continue to do these, they was going to figure out a way to uh, mitigate the high cost. It seems like Mitch is the only one with some sort of uh, end game in mind for all of this. Yeah, but his end game, you know, I don't, I don't agree how he went about it. I didn't say it was a good idea. I don't agree how he went about it, but it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't say what he did was a good idea. <laughs> you know, especially if if the reports that he that he used all the Red Rooster money to do it, and now he's like doesn't have the funds. I would have I would have liked to have gotten a book before he tried this little scheme of his. Now, where where did that report come out? Because you know he insisted that. They did not use the Red Rooster money. Yeah. Uh, at least in the street um, I listened to. Right. So the Indicom people. Oh. Uh, apparently one of them, I don't know, he has some inside sources or what, but he insists that um, that that's that's the actual that that's actually what happened. Uh, <laughs> Is that yeah, that ain't good. But I don't know, you know, if, if yeah, yeah, you know, if one person it. says one thing and another person says another, I, I'm not there. I'm not running the budget. Yeah. But um, still, nonetheless, it's like I was saying, you, you mean to tell me that you can't work your schemes and your angles and still draw Red Rooster? I, I mean, Manny got a full time job. <laughs> Ain't got skunk girl out. Uh, the guys that did Mythoverse got theirs out. You know, this is why I'm losing faith on people, man. Not on Manny, but other people. I, and Timothy, Timothy Lib's getting ready to fulfill. Yeah, he's been fulfilling all of his books. Tim's a machine. Yep. He's, he's another guy that's got a full time job. Yeah, an important one. Yeah, yeah isn't he a, a professor? I, I believe he's a doctor. Still important. <laughs> yeah. So he's he's doing he's doing his full time thing and he's still pumping them out. Yeah. I mean, if he could if he could do it while not being a prof, uh, a professional comic book guy, I don't see why the others cannot. I know. Uh, Give Mitch this. He said he was waiting on his wife to finish his, her obligation with I don't know if it was DC or Image or whomever. But that's for colors. So pencils could have been done. Yeah, and she could have way by now. Yeah. And when she got, by the time she got done with what she was doing, she could have uh, colored. You know, so I don't know. I don't, I don't agree, but hey, it's whatever. It's whatever. It happened, so time to move on. Yeah, his art is good, and yeah, I saw some of his pages. So people, are, like people are gonna be happy. Yeah, I'm should. still looking forward to the book. Yeah. yeah. 
So we'll see. This it's gonna take a long. It's gonna be a long. Probably gonna be a long time before I get anything from a uh, allegiance. Well, now those those books so, are supposed to be available soon in like Walmart, right? Yep. So I'm told. Finally got there, says Lady Celtic Moon. <laughs> hey. Hey, Lady Celtic. How are you doing? Look, those books are supposed to be yeah available at your local at your local Walmart, and so we'll see. Hopefully, hopefully yeah. it's not another you know. Yeah, does it seem like these guys have just for completely forgotten all about the L LCSs? Yeah, I, I, that's one thing I don't like. You know that that um the LCS don't got nothing to do with what's going on. Yeah. And like the set, like I said, the one that I go to has a has a small section, but it's all independent, self published books. You know, books that that are not mainstream. So, so there are LCSs out there that are actually, you know, trying to do some things. You know. Yeah, and I mean, and uh, you, they can't really use part of. Mark, use Mark Wade's uh, interference as an excuse anymore. Not when your whole movement's deader than disco. Yeah, I don't know about all that either. But anyway, I digress. As you are wont to do. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> like, it's not going to make a difference anyway. What's done yeah. is done. Yeah, and I follow most of and I follow most of the pros. No one, no one among them talks about them nowadays. You know, I kind of stopped just watching all their streams. I kind of stopped. Yeah, I stopped doing that too. You know, uh, listening to the to the to the psycho babble. I just kind of just started chilling. Let's see. Good thought press says four hundred sixty eight dollars in shipping. Well, that's the that's the price. That's the price of doing business. Yep. Just and all it. that, and all that you can write off in taxes. All four hundred and sixty-eight bucks. Yep. Nice, isn't it? Mm. That's why when people get like, "Oh, but I," you can write that off on your taxes. Yeah. Any yeah, loss? It's not like you get that much back. You know, it's a fraction. But yeah. you can still right. But, it, but you it know helps. Every bit helps. Yeah. Even if fine. even if if you don't get it back, you, it gives you a credit. So if you owe, then you don't owe. You see what I'm saying? I see. Yeah. So so because you're you're because that Good Dog Press is a private business, single proprietary business. You know everything he's been doing. You know. Yeah. Every loss he took. Sending them books to the printers, all those cards, all that he can put up against his gains and losses. Yep. And even if he doesn't get money back, he, he can get a credit for next year or the year after or the year after, depending on how much credit he gets. Yeah. So it's not always about getting money. It's about not owing money. Yes. This is true. <laughs> this is true. So that's why I don't get too too uh and I get it for someone like Manny who who uh who did it basically out of pocket, it still stings. Yeah. But someone like EBS that got a half a mil, I don't feel sorry for him. No, I don't <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel yeah, I sorry. His margin him. is covered, yeah. Yeah, his margin is more than covered. I ain't even worried about it. When he said, "Well, I'm gonna have to pay so," nah, dude. What? It, the only reason why the only reason why you're gonna pay so much is because you made more than what you should have. Yeah, way more. Because it's not gonna cost them a half a million dollars or a quarter of a million dollars to get all that stuff done. Nope. But I digress. The way I, uh, the quick math that I did puts, if I wanted to do a 24 page book on the Bloody Engineer, it'll put me at about 5,600. 
<laughs> to get it done. And that's what IBS, ISBN, you know, self-publishing, pretty much self-publishing. So there we are. So I've already got like a starting budget. Yep. I have almost done it in the plotting stage. It's good thought press. Let's see what he's talking about. And uh, SQView 3D is in the house saying hello. What's going on, brother? Thanks for joining us. It's been a while since I've seen you in this neck of the woods. <laughs> I don't know, make a fair tomorrow for Saturday, Sunday show, the beauty. Okay. All right. Well, nobody here is in Florida, but all right, cool. <laughs> uh, I'm done with the plotting stage. But look, man, everything is awesome. Yes. Oh, I was deep in chat. All right, cool, man. Well, my bad. My apologies. I didn't catch you last week, but hey, I stand, I stand corrected. And better late than never. Yes. I stand corrected. That's the cyber fraud policy anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that dude. <laughs> I'm done. I get that book. That'll be the last thing I back from him. It's funny, right? Because he, he puts out a video the other day, right? And and he was like, you know, if 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 we are late, people people have a right to tell us, you know, to bash us for it. Right. But then sometime anybody bashes him for him, he's held yes. pay. Yeah. The block button. You know. Oh yeah. so, but you know, you was late. Yeah. Well, you're still late. Because I know I still ain't got my frog, my frog, um, frog book yet. Um, did you back the third? Which campaign did you back? Second, I don't, first? I don't, first campaign. That's probably why. The one with the Afghan and all that stuff. Yep, he, yeah. only, sent, he only sent out the third, the people back the third. I think. Yeah. And the thing is this, right? With Mitch, I did the Order of the Rooster or whatever, which is oh, like, uh, the Order of the Dawn? Yeah. That was that was not a cheap campaign. No, it was not. So so when I get mad it's because man, I put a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a lot of people put a lot of money in that. And you're just gonna say and you're just gonna throw all that trust out the window. Put a lot of money into that. Way more than I wanted. To. Well, I mean, it's not like it hurt me, but it did. But the thing is, this right? You give somebody two hundred dollars, you know, you're hoping that they'll keep their word, yes, and get things out on time. But from now on, if I back anything, it's gonna be at the bare, 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 bare. Minimum <laughs> digital only, huh? <laughs> Pretty much. Hey, that's what. Hey, that's what. That's what I've done with most of the campaigns. Bare I bet, like the, I backed the. That's what I did with all with all my campaigns. I backed all. I backed all the uh, lowest tiers I could find. Bare minimum. Well, I, I know, right? Just, go ahead. No, she said, "Don't tell your wife." I know, right? Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna get her for Christmas. Yeah. Delete this stream. Nah, I don't worry about it. She Destroy all the it. evidence. <laughs> she doesn't Get watch her it. Her. <laughs> you know, it's funny, right? Because I don't know what to get her. Because <laughs> what? Because I don't know what to get her. I, know, I, I never know what to get my wife either. Now, usually what she'll do is she'll drop those subtle hints throughout the year. And I'll start, you know, because usually I'm done with all my Christmas shopping by now. Like, I'm done way before Black Friday. I'm like, because I don't, I hate waiting for the last minute and I don't care about the deals and waiting and then dealing with angry people and people 
you know, trampling people. And, it, it's so much easier to enjoy the holidays if you're already done. It is, right? Yeah. So that's what I do, you know. That's what I do. That's what I do, man. What doesn't she like? Fine purses, fine shoes, <laughs> jewelry. Right. What doesn't what doesn't every woman like? Jeez. Problem is, she doesn't need anything. That's the point. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know like, she, sure. has, she has she has no needs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know what I should have done with this uh, red rooster piece? Give her give her a boob window. <laughs> That would have been nice. But anyway, yeah. So speaking of which, yeah. it's been, been fun watching Pablo Pablo troll uh the Twitter <laughs> crowd. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. That boy. Someone's gonna assassinate him. He should be a green lantern. Or no, he should be Daredevil. He got no fear. Right. <laughs> Someone's gonna assassinate that boy. That is well, so funny. They're already well. They're already threatening to uh, and they're, they're already threatening to amputate anyone who any dude who draws uh, who draws women with big boobs. Amputate? I don't know. What are you talking about? There was someone put a tweet out that's like, uh, "I'm going to uh, amputate. I'm going to chop off any artist's heads who." Uh, uh, <laughs> Draws uh, over sexualizes female characters. Well, I thought you meant you're gonna go like Lorena Bobbitt on. No, I remember Sorry. because I, I remember because I, yeah, I remembered it because I reported that because I reported that guy. Yeah, what is the picture? What is the last picture that she taken of her? What? Huh? What was the last picture? Did she taken over? Hey everyone, says Maranya. Hey, doing Maranya? Hi, Maranya. This problem, saving right? Saving file. My wife don't have no hobbies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the guy. I got like 15 hobbies. Her zero. <laughs> Jeez, I got enough. Jeez, I almost got enough. Of, at this rate, I have enough cover ideas to make variants out of them. Yeah, I, I put out the, the tweet early on, you know, that, hey, portraits make a great gift, you know, but uh, didn't get any takers. So now it's kind of too late. Yeah. I don't have time now. I ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> it is what it is, homies. Uh, you know what? I don't know. I'll figure something out. Yeah. I always do. Yes. Usually it costs me a lot of money, though. That's what I'm not trying to do this year. I'm right. trying not to spend a lot of money because we got the kid on the way. So, yep. What's today's date? Today is the seventh. All right. Picture oh, you have of her. Picture I've had of her, man. I got like a thousand pictures of her. She is like photogenic as hell. <laughs> uh, me, I prefer art supplies or. Tubler one or Tyrone counties? I don't know what Tyrone are, but I, that's what my husband buys from me. I don't like I don't like jewelry and the other usual feminist frills. Well, make a fantastic dinner, then. She doesn't even do the Puerto Rican dinners. That's why I was so sad about that today. Like, man, I can't even have my panina, arroz con gandules, pasteles, nothing for Christmas dinner that I like because she doesn't eat it. Oh, it's, oh, it's, 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 it's sad, mad dude. I, I even made somebody else cry when I said that. I was like all teary eyed. And then another dude who who I didn't, who the, I would never suspect in a million years knows what the hell I'm talking about was like, oh my goodness, that food is so good. Then he looked at his wife. He was like, baby, we need to incorporate that into our Christmas. Uh, <laughs> and she's like, no, but we, we do Chinese. He says, well, we can do both. We can do Chinese one night and Puerto Rican the next. <laughs> I was like, I done started something. That's right. Like always. Like always, man. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Yeah. 
Man, Marcus is striking out left and right. He's giving me all these ideas. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Manya says, tonight dinner is Walmart chef salad. Want it very simple and good and cheap. All right, then. I'm going to take your word for it. I'm going to take your word for it. I didn't even – um my lunch was kind of really heavy, so – I think I'm not even hungry for dinner, so <laughs> I didn't cook. <laughs> Good to see you, Shinobi, and I have you trained to save, says Maranya. Yeah, we have trained them well. The Shinobi trained raccoon. But yeah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> I still go watch Gary's dreams, though. Yeah, I like Gary. What's not to like about Gary? I don't know. Got a Shinobi stream as well. Toronas are delicious almond nougat Italian candies. Yeah, yeah so that's almost like well. the that's almost like the Toblerone. The German one, they have nougats too. I'm trying to remember if I had those before. I'm pretty sure I did. I spent three years in Italy. All right. So I'm pretty sure I had them. I just can't remember. That was like in the 80s. No, that actually, no, no, no. That was in 90, 91, 89, 90, 91. It's a long time ago. Yeah. Very long time ago. Very long, very, very long time ago. On it. Matter of fact, that was my first experience. My first experience uh, fighting a forest fire was over there. It was very, 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 very horrible. Very horrible. Forest fires ain't no joke. They don't look it. It's it's uh especially when you live out in California. No, I'm talking about just the heat. The, the heat in the heat intensity in it in one of those things is ridiculous. <laughs> well. What I meant is California keeps getting them. Yeah, I know what you meant. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the hand intensity in those jokers is so ridiculously. It's terrible. And then um, one thing that you learn is that the ground has air pockets. Oh. So the fire catches, uh, the roots catch fire as well. Right. So underneath the ground, there's a fire on top of the ground there's a fire so you're standing there your feet feel like they're boiling boy <laughs> now, i never thought about that me neither and, that's really and, frightening. Uh, and uh and sometimes the air pockets break away so then fires shoot up from the ground and you're like where did that come from <laughs> like where did that come from that's like that's crazy look man the forest uh them guys that do the forest fires uh those firefighters what are they called them smoke jumpers they, yeah. they get I get mad respect to those guys. Hell yeah. I didn't jump into one. We walked into one, but I'm gonna tell you, man, we spent three days in that Joker, and, and I'm telling you, man, that was rough. That was a rough three days. Where was that? That was, that was in Italy. Hmm. It was a rough three days. Very rough. Right. I haven't gone anywhere that I haven't had to deal with some kind of natural disaster or another, man. Like, the stories I'm going to tell my little baby, she's going to be like, for real, Dad, you're making this up. Nope. <laughs> this is actual, real, factual stuff. Right. So, like, what in the world? Save again. I got stories. Stories for days. But I'm going to wait. I was going to wait for my grandkids, but hey. Apparently, um, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, man, yeah, so 
I was like, yeah, man, it's been it's been one of those days, you know. Right. Kind of like a slow day. He's just imagine trying to even breathe and oh no, that's tough, man. That's why they got those masks. <laughs> yeah. But but us 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 our grunts, we didn't have masks. No, no, they just sent this in there. We breathed a lot of smoke. It was horrible. It was horrible. But them dudes, them jump smoke jumpers, mad respect. Lots of love for them guys. Right. It's not a job that I would want to do. But, wow. You know? But you're happy when them helicopters with that, with those water buckets come from above. Right. Them jokers are lifesavers. There we are. Like I says, no, man. Yeah, it was horrible. It was horrible. It was, uh, I, I got the black lung. No, I didn't get the black lung, but it was terrible. Right. I was going to say, don't you get that from coal mines? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking about uh, A Christmas Carol. Oh. Oh, and he, uh, Gave him that one bit of coal to warm off of. I guess. Let's yeah. uh, see. Okay, I need advice, guys. Someday I will get to Italy. My brother's been. That's half my heritage. All right. All right. Lady Celtic Moon's about to ask questions. Everybody focus. Put the game right. face on. Let's see what we can do. Let's All right. See. Let me... As soon as she asks, that is. Let me okay, so don't don't go to Florence when the museum workers are on strike. It really sucks, and I know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. When I think about something, let's see. What's up, Josh? When I think about you, yes. Right, you leave it. Let me do that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, it's your that, it's your own thing. That Broly is looking so cool. It really is. <laughs> it kills me. You kill yourself, man. <laughs> oh. I tell you, man. Josh always got jokes. What's going on, Josh, man? How's life treating you? Uh, pretty crappy day. Was it cold? It's cold nah, here. Just, just life in general, man. But it is cold. It's getting colder tonight. It's cold yeah, over we got here. a cold snap on the way. Yep. Well, man, about time y'all suffer in my, my suffering that I've been suffering by myself over here. It's been pretty cold past couple days. Over here, you right? went from 100 degrees to 30. Yeah, that's a big drop. That is a big drop. That's a huge drop. Yep. Who came in? Josh came in. <laughs> Michael says that name. I can't. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is on that one, homie. Yeah, you know how it is. We're just chilling, streaming, talking crap. I do like how StreamYard lets us change our names, you know, on a whim. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So let's, but you know, 
it's got advantages, it's got disadvantages. I, I like the fact that he could do four windows. Uh. <laughs> Maranya says, oh my, the Kopi kid is being saucy tonight. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. <laughs> Ah, uh, Princess Bubblegum. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Lady Celtic Moon is asking you to change that name. No. <laughs> Can't stop the truth. <laughs> well, he said that while looking in the mirror this morning, so you know how that goes. <laughs> you know how that goes. No, actually, we don't. We don't know how it goes. It's because you're not as sexy as Josh. But if you were as sexy as Josh, I don't know about you, that one. Now, you know, now, you, now there's now there's some some bull crap coming from your microphone. You might want to fix it. You know what? Half the time, you know that is what it is. You know, <laughs> half the time it is what it is on that one. There is there is there is no cure for that. There is no cure for that. Right. <laughs> Lady Celtic Moon says, using mind trick, you want to change your name. You. <laughs> this isn't the name you're looking for. Exactly. You have sticks. You don't that have mind trick. Yeah, that Jedi sticks. mind trick does that work on me? I'm a Toydarian. No, my goodness. It is what it is, homies. If I come across one more video talking about how uh, the the uh, sequel trilogy sucks, I'm going to lose it. Yeah, stop watching videos, cuz. Yeah, I know. They're gonna. Yeah, I know. They're gonna keep talking about it. It's a lot of people that love Star Wars. They're like adverbs. There's a lot of them. It's that. Yeah. Are you yes, talking I, about the, the prequels or the new ones? The new ones. Oh, see, I hate the new ones. I know, but we, yeah, I know, but we don't need sixty some videos. People watch it. it People sucks. Love that. People love that negative commentary, man. Yeah, I, I don't know, know why. It is what it is. I blame guys like the. I blame guys like the AGM, AVGM for making it that kind of content popular. <laughs> I just blame people's natural. That too. That's just the way they are. It's just yeah. human nature. They can't help. You can donate books to your local library or make a field for people to take the books. Books, magazine. Or say, brother lived there for a year and was a book hoarder. Books, magazine, guns, clothes. All right. I guess All right. that's pale enough. It says you can get off YouTube. That's what they're telling you. Let's see what else is going on. Only one good thing is Chewbacca. Yeah. Yeah, Chewbacca is the is the bomb diggity. I'm I'm glad they didn't kill him off. Josh is related to Chewbacca. Yeah, they just got a new. He just got a new voice, or new guy in the suit, or whatever it is. Now they Josh. they did kill him off in the books, didn't they? Yes, I sir. Thought. Yeah, that's when I stopped reading. Yep. Chewbacca sacrificed himself to save the twins. Oh. Well, he apparently got a better he apparently got a better send off than Luke did. I really liked a lot of the books. And some of them were so so that I read, but I read quite a few of the ones early on. Well, the um after Luke created the temple and they made that series called the young Jedi Knights. That was really interesting. Right. And chief Chewbacca just joined the chat. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as we saw that. Ah, ah. And uh, of course, chief Chewbacca is Marcus Givens. Okay. That's his, that's his, that's his alt. Right.
Yeah, because there's actually three solo kids. Right. Oh, so Kylo Ren has siblings. Well, Kylo wasn't one of them. Oh. Oh, something new got added. Yeah, there was uh, Jason, Jaina, and Anakin. Okay. Anakin... Anakin imploded himself hmm. with drawing too much on the Force too soon in his Jedi career. Uh, uh, I think Ben yeah. Ben was murdered by somebody, and Jason fell towards the dark side. Um, pretty much, just not even like by torture or by any means. He just literally they said, "Well." Uh, there, there has to be darkness with light, and he thought about it. He said, "You know what? You're right," and he just totally joined the dark side. Huh. And uh, Luke's wife was killed by Jason. I liked her character too. I love Mara Jade. Yeah, she. I, um, that I was part of his her. initiative to, uh, to 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 fall to the dark side. He had to kill someone that was close to him. And you know they did the um, the wedding in the comics. Yeah. You know which character I really loved from the books, what? Talon Card, the smuggler. I don't remember him. He was, I think he was in the the Thrawn trilogy. Okay. And then, and in the comics, they drew him with the really big, like the bigger version of the silkworm mustache. Gotcha. But that. First collection, the heir to the empire. The art was by Olivier Vatin. Oh my gosh! And the watercolor colors in that book, just beautiful. Well, also they touched base on something that they they kind of hush hushed about and never talked about again was that there's never been a Mandalorian that was force sensitive, and with the um the the uh republic commando series that they did um they actually introduced a jedi that um was female that fell in love with one of the clones and they had a baby uh -huh. and the baby was force sensitive and they uh -huh. had to hide the baby and then i don't know if anything else ever came from it See guys, Ray was absolute Ray was absolutely unnecessary. Oh yeah, they should have just went ahead with um oh what's his name? He was in lot he was in uh, video games. Uh Kyle Katarn. Oh. oh yeah. If they had gone with the Kyle Katarn series, man, they they wouldn't have to worry about it anymore. It'd just be making money. Nice, nice. But no, apparently, uh, the budget to making money. Well, there's a huge like they the Disney went ahead and said Kyle's not canon. And they they he was one of the few characters they came out and said no, not canon. And um, it sucks because Kyle was badass. Kyle, Kyle was one of the few that drifted to the dark side had fun with it and came back to the light. Mm. Like he would definitely be registered as a gray Jedi. <laughs> Man, he's over there saying, I'm, I'm not talking. I said, nope. You know how I do when people like when people get involved in the little thing, I just let them talk. That's right. I don't get involved. Take a break. Well, trust did you ever play the Dark Forces games? No, I didn't. All right, so that that's where you would have met. Um, that's where you would have met Kyle. Okay. That that was his series. I think the only Star Wars game I ever played was probably the one for the old. NES. Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Dude, seriously, you owe it to yourself to get. They're on PC. They're pretty cheap, I mean, because they're old. Right. Um, 
but they were they were excellent. Dark Forces one and two. Um, it was one of the first ones that actually had the whole. If you choose one side, this happens. If you choose another, this happens. Oh, got it. Congratulations, player! You chose the bad ending. Well, now if you chose the dark the dark side, he became some like top uh, top Sith of somewhere. Oops, wrong button. <laughs> Only a Sith deals in absolutes. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. And on that awkward silent note, <laughs> hello, <Awkward>. ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> on that silent note right there. Yeah. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now you've gotten uh, a whole new uh, take on Star Wars. Yeah. A better one than the one we got. Look, man, I kind of stopped watching Star Wars. Ever since that Rogue movie, oh, I've been pissed at Star Wars. That's what did it for you? Yes, I hate that movie. I stopped I stopped right after um, they killed Han Solo. Mm. So, um, yeah, well, the Rogue movie pissed me off because they filmed two different endings. And then went with the one we had. Oh, really? What, what happened in the other ending? They all lived. <laughs> How? Because it wasn't a suicide mission. <sighs> so they, they had a ship. They got off planet before the Death Star. Fire. Hell, yeah, yeah. The whole thing. Well, the whole thing. They, they, they decided, well, we don't want to invest in these characters any further. That's all that came out to be. Heard an interesting theory. I was just letting uh, YouTube just autoplay whatever came up next. And so I was listening to um, one of your boy Zach's uh, videos talking about Ray and how she's not really a, a character. She's just sort of a template, you know. Yeah. Um, oh, boy. It, but, I uh, could what I thought was that. really funny is when they talked about how she wears essentially the same outfit in each movie. And uh, he, he said he, he heard a theory that that's because they've got all these unsold action figures. Mm. So they're just, <laughs> they keep her in the same clothes so they can yeah. just use the unsold merchandise. How long did it take <laughs> to get to the point again? Hmm? How long did it take him to get to the point again? Because when I watched it, he was rambling on some random crap. <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> it's like after that, I was like, get on with it. Who was this? Uh, Richard Meyer. Yeah. I don't know who that is. Well, he's only the worst YouTuber in all of YouTube. That's a lot of YouTube. That is a lot of YouTube. Let's see. Colonel says, out of play can be fun to let fly. And Rebel Comics is in the house. He said, raccoon. So Rebel Comics in the easy. Up, Larry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's another person that I'll back. So he actually he actually gets stuff done. Hi everyone, your boy Zach. Uh I have this I uh have this I know I have this uh I know I have the discussion in the title of the video, but I'm gonna ramble on for two or five minutes on on stuff that doesn't mean anything before I get to my point and then cough a lot and yeah. I think you have a lot of issues with this guy. <laughs> nah, it's just some people that have some people are. It is what it is, and, you know. But he's not a he's not a really an issue person. He's, he's not, not a bad person. It's he's actually one of the few people that that does a book and delivers. Yes. Like somebody was saying that he's up. He's about to be five to one against EVS. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I still enjoy his videos. I wish he live streamed again. I always enjoyed those. Yeah, he's probably can't for some reason. I think he's being careful. Smart move on his end. Yeah, yeah I would be too. 
I just about lost it when I saw that the the whistleblower's lawyer is Mark Zaid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My mom was like, "What's so funny?" <laughs> I tried to explain it to her. Yes, see, Chester said some crap about SEC coming hard at YouTube, and what I missed it. And if Pete has issues, it's forty thousand fine. That once YouTube dies, I don't know anything about that. Right. I keep trying to tell people, man, find another platform. It was a much better place anyway. Find another platform. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Yeah, I was watching videos last night on you know setting up on D Live. It's not a, it's not hard. You know, I, I was sitting there, I was I was trying to to set one up and then I was like, okay, what am I doing wrong? I'm missing something. I don't see something. So I went and watched the video. I was like, oh, you gotta set something up in OBS first. Okay. I don't even need OBS to do it. Well no. that's because, mm -mm. but I, I use it, but I don't need to. Yeah, I use it too. You know, but I got the the way I have restream set up. I don't have to. I don't have to have OBS. Okay, but you're using Restream. Yeah, I'm using Restream, but I use OBS so I can, so I can use a virtual cam. So instead of doing like Shinobi that has two screens, and if I put a second screen up, everybody disappears. Mm -hmm. I have mine, <laughs> my digital tablet set up as a screen, so I use OBS to project that screen to uh, Streamyard. And that, that's the only reason why I'm using OBS. Now, if, if I was doing a solo stream, yeah, OBS is fine. Yeah. You know, but don't really need it. Yeah. <clears throat> you know. Yeah, I mean, for OBS, all you have to do is get the stream key from uh, DLive, put it in your uh, OBS, and it's there. Yeah, I use I use the restream um, one. And my restream it goes everywhere. So you know, but uh, yeah, if I if I wanted to, I could just use Streamyard, and that's all I would need. Right. To go to D Live. Well, StreamYard and Restream, because I use I use uh, a broadcast from StreamYard to Restream. Restream does everything else. Yeah, D Live is amazing. I think you know it's just you know yeah. getting viewers and and all that stuff. And then of course everybody that watches me watches me on YouTube. So I don't know if they're wanting to move over. You know, so that's the thing, right? <laughs> if I only stream on StreamYard, I wouldn't get no views. Right. You know, nobody, nobody would be over there. Like right now, I'm uh, simulcasting to uh, to StreamYard to uh, excuse me to Mixer. Right. And I'm simulcasting to DLive. I'm simulcasting to Twitch and YouTube. Yeah. And that's why I use uh, Restream for. Yeah. Since I moved over to uh, D Live, I noticed a, uh, I noticed a uh, small jump in my viewership. It'll happen. People will go. Yeah. It depends on on uh, it depends on when you stream. Like I noticed that the art streams do better during the day. Yeah, and I can't stream during the day. Right. So. Yeah, because I did stream. Yeah, because I like, my last one, which was Wednesday, I streamed like late in the afternoon. You know, so so if you do it during the day, I think you do good for art on D Live. Yeah, but I don't see a lot of people streaming art at night. No. And of course, I don't see anybody. Um, I don't see anybody on D Live uh, watching or chatting because you know, oh, there goes Lady Celtic Moon. She said, "Yep, be on D Live." Yeah, I'm I'm everywhere. So it is what it is, you know, like I'm going to keep multicasting till one of them pops, the one that starts popping better. 
and then on Twitch, she says boo on Twitch. <laughs> but you know, the one that um that um starts taking off more, that's the one that I want to do. I would rather just completely stream on D Live, to be honest yeah. with you. Yeah. Just because if it gets uh if I'm if I'm rolling solo, I could put music on trustees on D Live too. Yeah. <laughs> I can, right. I, yeah, I can put, Cause that's what I do. I'll have like a I'll have like a I'll have like my YouTube open, and play a, find a find a uh, find a song or a video with a ser with an entire album. Let let it play and I'll just draw. Yeah. So I mean, it's easier to do that. They don't have those copyright rules. You can play music in the background yep. and just chill, you know, and yep. just draw, or do whatever. Yeah, we gotta get El Guapo on that. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it, I think it would be good because I knew his I knew he was his YouTube was gonna his stream was gonna be taken down, but he was having so much fun. I was like, sure. hey, you know what? Yeah, cause I put yeah, because I put in the chat. You know, if this I was like, okay, if this video gets taken down, I will will know why. You know, it, it is what it is. Yeah. Chronos Media says, Hey, what's up, Chronos? How you doing, buddy? So there you go, man, and that's where I'm at. I hang out. I hang out on both of these channels. Yeah, Twitch keeps buffering. I don't know. I think it's because I have the wrong bit rate for Twitch, and uh, but I don't have it set up. Uh, Restream does it automatically, but so you know, Twitch Twitch never really gets any any anything going. You know. Yeah. But oh snap! I gotta go out in the cold tonight. Oh, I'm gonna hate my life. Oh. Because I forgot to take the trash out, and they joke against the goat comes by like at five thirty, and they gosh darn. I was gonna say, is it recycling night? <laughs> no, no, no. It, it's it's they come so early, dude. Like right. they come so early in the morning, like before I could wake up, before I go to work, take the trash out, and, and be good to go. Here they come like a five forty five six in the morning. I'm not right. up that early, man. You know, I shoot back a bro is <laughs> it's over on D Live saying hamburgers on deck. Oh my lord. I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Chewbacca a little Michael Jackson on on, on D Live. So there we go. And there's another thing I like about D Live, those little stickers that you can just you know just pop out and get going, you know. I I just like it. And at the end of the stream, if I want to, I could open up, you know, if I have enough lino in the chest, I could always, you know, just give them out, you know. It, I like it. I like, I like, and the art community here. They're great. I like it. It's really nice. Yeah. They're a little more, um, little link. Which am I supposed to watch? Uh, watch, watch uh, D Live, buddy. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I say. And thanks for the follow, little link, and thanks for the follow, Chewbacca, bruh. Um, but yeah, just uh, yeah, just follow, follow me on D Live because I stream on both. I stream on all platforms, but I really eventually do want to move over to D Live full time. Oh man, thanks a lot, people. Oh man, they're following me. That's so awesome. But uh, yeah. So so yeah, I definitely if I could do it, I would rather stay here. Mm -hmm. On on D Live, it makes my life easier. And uh, I like it, man. But I'll be doing it on both sides, you know. Like I said, I keep. I keep doing YouTube right. until whatever, you know, until whatever, until whatever. Because, you know, like I said, most of the people that I have, they, they watch on YouTube. But if I can get them on DLive, get everything rolling, well, get everybody cool. over here, it would be pretty awesome. Yep. Can't get mad at it. Can't get mad at it. Not at all, and it'd be awesome because I could I would have to, I could stop using the uh, the restream chat to keep it keep uh keep everything rolling. Yeah, I'm dying a real engine. Oh, 
Yeah, I'm D9, real engine. It looks like they allowed me to MS development kit. Nice. Poke fire to start fire. Goodness. <laughs> it's saying, yo. So, hello, Pope. How you doing? Hi, Pope. Welcome to the show. Hope you're enjoying. We got trusty. <laughs> yeah, I just sent her a message that I'm starting to ink uh, Starfire. <laughs> oh, is that what happened? <laughs> Maybe. Is that what happened? Is that what caught, caused her to come over here? Literally split. Know. Possible. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Oh, you don't know what's going to happen mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. They're not that hard to work, Marcus, man. You just kind of right click on them, download them, and then keep them. You can only keep 20 at a time, unfortunately. But okay, so let me get back on StreamYard because I know what she's going to say. I know what she's going to say. Show, <laughs> show trusty. Hashtag. Hashtag. Yes, it was Starfire Little Link. It was indeed. Hashtag show trusty. Oh man, what just happened. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know you, you should have said something. You could have told us, man. I could at any time. I can. I can. Uh... No profile. That's not for you. Everything that, that he draws is not for you. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just drawing it. This is this was not a commission or anything. It's just I felt like drawing it. So it could be for you. It could be for you if, if the price you is buy, right. If the price is right. <laughs> yeah, <you're late. laughs> Good night, everybody. <laughs> for passes, what if you didn't oatmeal? I think I think she's a little bitter. I think someone's a little salty. No, she's not drawing it for you. If you want to buy it, it'll be for you. Right. But he's not drawing it for you. I think I think uh I think she wants to feel special. Sure is special. Absolutely. I think she wants to feel a little especial. When I Pope said, said okay, she says she'll buy it, so I guess he is drawing it for you. <laughs> There you go. Well, Question now the pressure is on. Now the pressure is on. The heat is on. Yeah. Now I'm um, yeah, but little link, if if you don't, all you have to do is tell me, hey, what is this person drawing or whatever, and um, and we'll be more than happy to uh, you know, to maximize, zoom it in or whatnot. And speaking of, the books are shipping we'll is in the house. Happy. What's going on, buddy? Good evening. Aloha. Aloha. Hey. I just got home from spending some money. <laughs> I know, but it's money well spent. Dude, it's it's the international yeah. shipping. I mean, I'm sorry, people, but that $25, it's going to have to go up. Seriously, the $25 don't cut it for the international shipping. It's unbelievable. Right. It's crazy. Well, maybe you need to do international <laughs> tier and a regular tier. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm sorry. I mean, the international people think that we're trying to gouge them. We're not. It, um, it is what it is. Uh, the yeah. average, the average for the international. I mean, every single international one was twenty four dollars and above. Wow. And I only wow. charged twenty five dollars for shipping international. There was one international that cost me thirty five dollars because I put three books in. <laughs> wow. There was only one that was under twenty four dollars. And that was to Canada, and that was still seventeen dollars. Right. So it was crazy. I was like, "Oh my goodness!" So, and I had like, I think twelve international shippings. So that that's where that four hundred and sixty-eight dollars. Most of it was international. I mean, a lot of it was international. Not most, but a lot of it was. I was going to ask how many you had that were international that that ran up that. Amount. Uh, well, I think I sent out 11 or 12 international. I still got a few more because they're upper tiers. I only got through the stink and the booster boys. 
Mm. So the, the three upper tiers I didn't send out yet because those have original artwork and I got to package up the, the sculptures. So they'll, they'll be the right. last ones to get it. So just bear with me, people. But the books are going out already. Uh, there's one customer that got his books already yesterday. Wow. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, that KG. Be. KG. <laughs> right. He tweeted it out, which was pretty yeah. cool. It's funny because when I saw the tweet, I was like, I didn't put that. Because I didn't even look at the tweet. I just saw the picture. I'm like, what is Skunk Girl doing up there? And I'm like, oh, that's KG. Oh, cool. That was awesome. Yeah, yeah, he's showing out. Yeah, he's showing. He's proud. I mean, he worked on that book. So he knows all about that book. He knows yeah. in, ins and outs of it, unfortunately. <laughs> Lady Celtic Moon says, Edwin? No, KG. KG is the it's the one that got it already. Oh, KG gets it first. He's he's the man. He's he's the mighty yeah. range. He's the flatter. He helped edit. I mean, he he was there. He helped out a lot. He was there to thick and thin. Yeah. So. Yeah. It helps to have a team. Oh no, yeah. you got a poke fire in your audience. Yeah, we got a poke fire. She's here to watch Trusty, so I'm I I have maximized Trusty, so she can yeah. get her her Trusty goodness in. Yeah, the rest of us don't. Yeah, the rest of us don't matter for some. And you're not drawing Starfire. Well, yeah, no. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about the favorite. I keep forgetting about the favoritism there. Yeah, the only thing is, if you draw Starfire, then she loves you. And if you don't, well, then she's she doesn't hate. like you. <laughs> you I know? got something special going to Pope Fire. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Fire the star the Starfire person. She got a Nintendo DS. She's happy. She's finally catching up to technology. Jeez. She's now got a DS. I hate to tell you, they just they announced a few months ago the DS is dead. Well, look, she's playing Pokemon. She said she just, you know, what? You what know she, she said she just caught a Pikachu, so she's happy. The rest of us don't matter. Some guy I don't know. <laughs> Oh my lord. The troll has begun. Trolling has yeah. begun. I played that mission four times. Mm -hmm. Oh my lord. There was no someone, way. Is, someone is listening to me from the beginning of the stream? Which, which was sad. It, it made me sad. It made me sad. Right. But, <laughs> right. Right. I'm hearing myself in my, in my headphones. Right. Thanks, Marcus, man. Really appreciate it. Can't be nobody else. Hit a like yet. I'm muted. I know what it was. It was me. Stupid damn computer. <laughs> JP4 said just wanted to say hi. Bedtime. No, it. <laughs> so I'll wait for uh, Manny to get that situated. This took, this took for it. It's situated as I'm talking with a whole damn mouthful of chicken. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still hearing myself from the from the beginning of time. A voice be. I don't know where it's coming from. Not for me anymore. I don't have anything turned on. I'm still muted. I don't know where it's coming from. Not for me anymore. Not from you? No. But I do hear that echo. All right. Let's see. I don't know. Anyway, Chronos says. Huh. Just blame it on me. Let's see. Blame it on the rain. All right, what about now? It's better. Oh. Yep. All right. What was it? I think it was my D Live. Oh. Uh -oh. And you blamed it on me. Yeah, but I had it muted though from the, from the very beginning because I always mute it. Right. Let's see. Because I always mute it because that's the only way. Um, I mute anything that I that I. That I put up, I mute it. Because otherwise, it becomes uh, it becomes craziness, man. Craziness. Crazy man. Come on. 
it becomes craziness, I tell you. Yeah, see, there you go. JP said it does that sometimes. There we are. I don't know why it does that, but it does that sometimes. <laughs> I don't know what Pofire is talking about. Yeah, I don't know that either. It's kind of weird. She's playing, she's playing Pokemon, so, you know. I, you know, I was going to say something inappropriate, but I kept the mouth shut. That, that's good. That's good. That's good. I'm what glad that's game are you playing, Pope? <laughs> I know. She says, oh, my God. It's like being jumped in the grass. Oh, oh okay. You know, some people actually like being jumped in the grass. I know you're from the Midwest, but okay. Uh, get a lot more. <laughs> 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 Cut the grass down so people can't hide in there. Oh my goodness. Pokemon Moon. She's playing Pokemon. She just only came here because Trusty's like, hey, I'm 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 thinking Star Fire. Right. She's so mean. Yeah. I have no pride. <laughs> I have no shame. I have no shame. There's no shame to the trusty game. So let's get back to that Star Wars. That was a really interesting conversation there. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome. Where do you want me to begin? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, yeah, I can talk about Star Wars if y'all want to. I was like, I'm listening to trying to drive home. I'm like, damn it, I can't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Would you have something to add? What was that? Did you have anything to add to it? No, I'm just joking. Oh, okay. Well, that's I don't want to joke with Jimmy because I know Jimmy was left out of the conversation. Because I don't care. Jimmy's a Star Wars hater. I'm not a Star Wars hater. I just don't care. Like I don't. Know. <laughs> I don't care. I don't be caring no more. I'm like, all right, whatever, cool. Well, the books were good. I'll give you that. The books are good. Like, Some of them. When they when they start geeking out, man, I just let them. I just let them do their talking, man. I did. Yeah. I did like the Tales of books. Those are really good. You know, Tales of Moss Eisley, Tales of, you know, whatever. Those the are really hunters. Fun. Yeah, they were fun to read because they were, you know, short stories. And you could go through those books in like a, a day or two. Yeah, and of course, I love the Rogue Squadron. I don't know if you guys liked it as much as the, I did. The Rogue Squadron games were amazing. The books are amazing too. Yeah. But we won't talk about that. Poor Jimmy. It's Jimmy show. Nah, man. I don't care, dude. It's the digital bullpen, man. <laughs> Is anybody, anybody can bring a topic of conversation? Uh, it's the, it, it's the uh, Starfire bullpen. Oh, Lord. Almost. Not anymore. I put it back on everybody. I was going to say, good. I may have to spend a couple minutes changing this nib. I think I've blown this point out. You know, uh, I put it back on everybody. Gotcha. I'm to make a huge order to dickblick.com this week. Man, all my nibs started acting up. I was like, I'm done. They've, they've all got to go. That's it. I need to do a live stream of Trash Fire. <laughs> Here we go. More Starfire, less trash. Well, shoot. Let's say less Starfire, more trash fire. Yep. Well, just think when we stream next week, I'll be inking Raven. There you go. She won't come then. <laughs> <laughs> Poor she won't, she won't come then. Bless your That's heart. That's for sure. Right. <laughs> then, then everybody will be happy. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so Wapo and uh, Tank are competing on the other stream. Oh, no. Yeah. What's the other stream? 
Uh, drawn a quarter fan edition. Uh, it's weird because Hawaii doesn't do the time difference. So I'm looking at the time. I'm like, oh, it's time to vote. Oh, no, it's not. Got to wait an hour. Yeah. Well, Hawaii, Puerto Rico, I don't think any of those uh, equator places do, does the uh, Arizona time doesn't. Arizona doesn't do a time change either. Hmm. You know, that's, he's he's doing the free two nice company. I tell you, all right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, it is what it is, man. Jeez, you know that is. that was mostly made for the that whole daylight saving was mostly for the days for agricultural days for farmers needed more daylight for the crops. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, and my computer is doing that. I'm gonna finish saving this, no matter what you say. Thing. I, I see. Giving me the circle of death. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay. Looking at the chat. Nothing, nothing, nothing is happening. Of course not. Well, Tank is actually drawing digitally. Hmm. Oh yeah. All oh, right, he's on the uh, he's on the uh, drawing quarter. He's on the fan edition, isn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep. I don't know, Pofire saying something something about being in spite. What? I don't know. I uh, never pay attention. Well, she's not moving her clock. That's what I guess she's talking about. Ah. Yeah, so what's good about this time difference now, at least I got an hour to go do what I need to do before you start streaming. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's good, man. I don't know. I just be on chill mode. Yeah. I don't pay attention to much of anything else. <laughs> I didn't be paying attention, my man. Just do my little stream. Excuse me. Bless you. Yeah. And call it a day. Like I said, I was playing. Um, I was catching up on Outer Worlds, so I almost, I almost didn't stream. I almost just stayed playing. <laughs> but then Trusty reminded me with a with a tweet. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Trusty. Trusty's like, you know, uh, I'm going to be late, but I'm going to be there. And I'm like, oh, all right, cool. Yeah, let me get off this game. <laughs> get off this game, reboot the computer, because whenever I play, for some reason, uh, Clip Studio just acts bonkers. So, Who the hell is Trusty? Hmm? Who the hell is Trusty? Trusty? Yeah, who's Who's Tristy? Who's Tristy? I don't know. What are you talking about? <laughs> In the chat. Oh, Popeye, don't yell at Tristy. <laughs> oh. there's, there's no Tristy here. I yell at Tristy while my girlfriend is older. I'm going to yell at Tristy all the time. Hey, Tristy. Who's Tristy? I do not trust. <laughs> Santa Skunky, you're the one. You make the holidays oh so fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, I am trying to be Santa Claus, trying to get you guys books out to you as soon as possible. Yeah. Just remember, <laughs> it is media mail, and it's coming from Hawaii, so it's going to take a little bit. <laughs> I gotcha. No excuse. It's already okay. been fulfilled. It's already been shipped to certain people at least one person 
<laughs> Lady Celtic Moon says, okay, he's going to try to get some sleep. Very long day, Friday. All right, Lady Celtic Moon, have a blessed night. Um, mm -hmm. And hope you get some rest. Profire says, okay, boomers. <laughs> hey. Night, LCM. So you uh, calling a boomer? I'm like Gen X. I'm like the forgotten generation here. I think we're all, all Gen X in here. Are we? Is that who we are? Oh, yeah. Well, I know I'm Gen X. I am. <laughs> the Pope Fire says, okay, Boomer. <laughs> oh, Lord. It is what it is. Well, none of us are actually Boomers. Or baby yeah. boomers, anyway. Yeah, we're completely human. <laughs> because that's the generation that begot Gen X. Yeah. I want a Santa Skunk Girl Cheesecake Sketch. <laughs> Says Mariah. Oh, that's go cheetah. Yep. Oh, Santa Skunk Girl Cheesecake Sketch. That's what that's what they're saying. Yeah. Colonel says I'm almost fifty. Well you're almost as old as me. Wow. Almost. But not quite. She's very bossy to me. Trusty is not doing anything. Didn't you see? He's feeling. He's refilling his uh, nibs. You have other artists in here, you know. She doesn't care about anybody that's not drawing Starfire. Y'all, y'all know better than that. Come on, man. I'm going to surprise her one of these days. So what you need uh, to be is don't. I wouldn't do that. Don't throw. Don't show Trusty until he starts to ink Raven. Oh. <laughs> He's not showing anything, Pope Fire. He's not showing anything on his screen. His screen is completely and totally that. No, I'm I'm back. I had a I had a pen slip. I was trying to repair the damage. I got gotcha. you. I did what I could. I'll have to touch up the rest of it with colored pencil or something. Those things happen, buddy. That's the danger of working traditionally. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes. It'd be all right. I know you would starve and die of thirst without me. <laughs> It sounds like uh, uh -oh. Skunky. Uh-huh. She doing she doing this on purpose. She just wants to be part of the stream. That's all it is. She's talking to the dog. Oh, she's not talking to you this time. <laughs> no. Did you ever get your crackers? I had to go get my crackers myself. <laughs> hey, you got all gangster. You get my old crackers. <laughs> Yeah, we love it. We love it when uh, Skunky comes on the stream via Manny's uh, mic. It's uh, high value entertainment, super high value. And we just oh, we we just lost Manny. Uh oh. Maybe she you know what happened. The dog after all. You know what happened? The unbeatable skunk girl went over there and unplugged him. Why you didn't feed my dog? <laughs> Our court Fenton mud. <laughs> you gotta feed my puppy. How dare you? Yeah, Manny's wife is amazing. We love her. Yeah, we do. You know, it's the only reason we tolerate Manny. Wow. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> At least two reasons. Mm. What are you going to do? 
I'm finally back. I saw uh, man. Now we're, now we're live, so you can say whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> Got my own bad crackers. Right. <laughs> yeah, they know you're home. <laughs> We've been knowing. Yeah. yeah. You guys know. Uh, you know uh, everybody was exp everybody was waiting for that part of the show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what did Manny do wrong today? <laughs> <laughs> I love Manny. Da, 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 da. You heard what you just said? Uh, I love Manny. Manny, you got some explaining to do. Manny, I'm home. No, it's like, what I can't do, right? Because obviously I can't pack you here. Oh. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Oh my goodness. I love it, man. Oh man. I love it, man. I, I personally. Oh man. Marcus says I thought you was getting the chancla for a second there. <laughs> oh Manny. Yeah, we'll come with this first. <laughs> Manny getting the chancla. Yeah. Yeah, she needs to quit eating Vienna sausages. Oh, she's cat. <laughs> 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 and then I think she really wanted to drink water. <laughs> <laughs> Dog needs some milk. Oh my goodness. She's getting thick. She's getting thick, like many beer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she is beating face, but she's still cute. Yeah, but you're the one who made her like Vienna sausages. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are nasty. She likes the Venus. <laughs> my dad loves those things. Huh. Oh, they were super cheap. She wasn't eating her food, so I put I put uh, Vienna sausage in her food. Next thing you know, the food is gone. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, but she likes it. Hey, look at the camera. When you bought the damn piece of Vienna sausage, that's just lit. <laughs> How's that Santa beard coming? You like the beard? Hmm? Doggy? Jeez. <laughs> There and look what's right behind me. That Santa beard is coming off December twenty sixth. <laughs> 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 it's actually off by our anniversary on the twenty ninth. Where are you going to Of course, you know this oh, means more. Really? Cut off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! You know I don't like it. You don't like the beard. Oh my goodness! <laughs> That thing better be your fire anniversary, Manny. Yeah, my no. wife, my wife complained enough. I had to get rid of mine too. Come on. If you weren't supposed to like sleep right, you're cutting it off while you're sleeping. Ooh, that's amazing. That's an amazing beard. Come on. No, that's <laughs> looking too watch her. She's gonna go full Delilah on you. No, she's uh, too manly there. So <laughs> we'll bob it, okay? Yeah, she doesn't do bob it, but if you don't shave your beard, she might go bob it. <laughs> Just to pull it. I'm a nurse, you know. I know how to do those things. Oh, that's disgusting. Oh, she says she's a nurse. <laughs> you didn't box yourself. What? <laughs> well, no. not really. She didn't say which hospital. and said She said she can make that happen. Play games if you want to, Manolito. Manolo, play games if you want to, Manolo. Manolito does not play games. Okay. See that beautiful poster behind me? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Colonel, says many, Colonel said, many lost weight and grew ears. <laughs> <laughs> hey, stop. She's attacking me. She is attacking me. Well, you'd lose five more pounds if you shave that beard. 
person? Come in here. There's room for one more person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you make me get a heart attack over here. <laughs> oh, you can lose five old pounds if you shake that beard up, man. <laughs> Making him laugh like Elliot Fernandez. Oh, oh my lord. <laughs> Marina says, I wish my husband could grow a beard, but his job says nope to beards. Well, oh my yeah, goodness. It's a lot of jobs say nope to beards. I'm lucky. I'm lucky. I'm lucky I don't know which one. Uh, none of my jobs, well, one of them said no, but that's because of what I was doing at the time. But you know what? No job has ever told me I couldn't have a beard. Well, my. Actually, all my jobs except for this job couldn't have a beard. You gonna leave me? She's gone. <laughs> my dog always gone. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm sending. I'm sending. I'm sending the link to Skunky. <laughs> well, she's got the link. I know she does. <laughs> she's got it's incentive. Link. No, I, I think she just likes doing it on the background. <laughs> Yeah, she said, cut the thing off, you lose five more pounds. <laughs> <laughs> That's so terrible. <laughs> so true, but so terrible. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Micah says she's, she's feisty tonight. And good thought says that's every night. <laughs> that's every night. Oh. Every so oh. she comes on, man, I'll, I'll die laughing, man. <laughs> Speaking of feisty, I wonder how feisty Fat is doing. Oh my god! Oh, yeah. Marcus says this is on the floor. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh my god, Marcus says this is the first time for me. Well, Marcus, welcome. Welcome to what we've known for a long time. <laughs> we are the backside of the conversations. Oh, yeah. You should hear when, when the camera goes off. <laughs> no, you shouldn't. She jumps oh. in. <laughs> and she tells us what we did wrong. Oh, what I did wrong. You guys don't do anything wrong. One time, I made the mistake of siding with Manning. <laughs> and you live to tell the tale. I did only because there's 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 a body of water separating us. Well, the story never side with Manny. You can side with Manny. At Just least don't not, tell her she's wrong. Not, at least, yeah, I was gonna say at least not near shot of skunk girl. Yeah, you know, I was like, you can you can side with Manny at your own peril. <laughs> but that was that was on the jalapeno cake. Uh, incident. Oh, no. I, was on, I was on Manny's side on that one, on the jalapeno cake incident. Mm. But that was the only time I think that I stuck up for Manny. When, with his, uh, when he looked at his son and he said, Et tu, Brute? That was kind of dirty, though. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, my goodness, man. I saved his butt and he still threw me under the bus. He, yeah, well, he, he, he was, he was making sure his butt was super safe. Well, actually, it, it incriminated him. It was his fault, not mine. <laughs> not the way he told it. <laughs> <laughs> not the way he told it. You know, uh, Pope Fire says she's going to bed. Good night, Pope Fire. Good night, Pope. Good night, Pope Fire. Good night, Poopy. Have a wonderful evening. Uh, good night, know it all millennial. They look. <laughs> you you want to you want to make it mad, you know. I know I know things to say. Say it, say it, do it, nope. do it. No, nope. do not doing it, do not it. doing it. I know Great. things to say. No, no, not just raving stuff, man. Other other, other stuff, man. Oh. There's, there's stuff everywhere. Uh oh. 
Oh no. Yeah, yeah. Don't let the Starfire bite. <laughs> Speaking of Starfire, she should like this one. Let's see, because. Ow. <laughs> okay. I just hit my my fingers on the corner of my desk. Ow. That, that sucks, dude. Yeah. <laughs> see, if you if you had shaved your beard off, you would have been able to see the desk. Oh lord. <laughs> oh lord. Oh my lord. If your beard is obstructing your view. Damn. Those things happen. You can't come home with food. The, the dog came for more food. My little Not chunky dog. Uh oh, 10 minutes left. Yeah. 10 minutes. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, that's going to be another color. 10 minutes left. 10 minutes, Dougie. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, we're we're gonna go around and showcase the artists one more time. <laughs> we can't we can't show a draw along because we don't have it. Okay, so who are we gonna vote for on the DNQ? Are we gonna vote for Tank or are we gonna vote for El Guapo? Oh man. Whose art is better? Yeah. Okay, so we got we got well, I don't even know who's on the there. Like I, I I really like to vote for whose yeah. art is actually better. Yeah, yeah. I was supposed to vote for Nerd Wonder last night, but I forgot to vote. <laughs> you forgot to vote for the person that you love the most in this world? Wow. That's that's horrible, man. I hope she's not... Well, luckily for you, she doesn't watch this stream, but if she did, I'm going to tweet it out. I'm just going to snip Sherry this part. knows. I'm going to snip this part and tweet it out. Sherry knows. All right, man. Shinobi said he loved you, but he really don't. He left you for Juju. You know, he's got no leal, no fealties. That sounded like a chancla hit, Manny. Juju is awesome. <laughs> what? Marcus said, that sounded like a chancla hit, Manny. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus, oh my God, what just happened here? Marcus is like my adopted, my adopted Regan son, man. He knows all about the chanclas. Oh, wow, they just got new AirPods. No, listen. Oh, my goodness. You, you got you to gotta let him go, Marcus. Sometimes he gets old. We all knew who really said that. I know. Who said what? <laughs> you said Marcus said that it sounded like a chancla, but it was actually Marania. Oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know, his his eyes are going a little too bad. You know, two hours is the most he can do anymore. That's yeah. it. That's it. That's all. That's that's it. He's tired at the end. <laughs> I'm always tired, man. That's beside the point. I'm gonna have to put him down soon. I'm always tired. That's beside the point. I live off of Red Bull and energy drinks. Oh my goodness! I finally got to see what what Josh Chris named himself tonight. Oh God! You're just not <laughs> looking at it. <laughs> just now. <laughs> I see. Oh Lord! You just now looking at it? I yeah, I mean, because the way I was looking at it, you couldn't see much of. I couldn't couldn't see him very much. See, and, and there you go. And then uh, he talking about old eyes and being tired and look at him. He can't even read Josh. Dude, seriously, go go look. I'm, I'm not looking at dirt. I'm not looking at through the, the, the stream yard hangout. I'm actually okay. looking at it on what everybody else is looking at. There you go. I'm pretty sure you can read it now. Oh, yeah, I could read it. I'm just a voice, people. <laughs> Chrono says, yeah, that's why Ortiz can't afford pants. Hit the like and support ERT for the love of pants. 
<laughs> oh my goodness, that's horrible. Oh my, <laughs> oh my lord. <clears throat> it is what it is, homies. What? It is what it is. It is what it is, man. There you go. Y'all can y'all can now read what Josh Chris is saying. But anyway, oh, speaking of which, <clears throat> now that uh, Mr. Uh, Good Thought really Chris zooms it up there. Now. What now? I said it really zooms it up there now, doesn't it? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. just because Manny wanted it, right? What? It's cute. Manny wanted it. That's the only reason. It's cute. But anyway, <clears throat> anyway, I was about to say, I was about to say, now that we know that Mr. Manny Correa is uh, fulfilling, um, don't forget that your boy Good Dog Press is about to start another campaign, Red 10, coming soon after he finishes with El Guapo, uh, as as he finishes with Chango. <clears throat> he, yeah, uh, you accidentally said Good Dog Press was going to yeah, do it. Yeah, dude. Did I? I was like, wow. Wow. Two already? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Which one's coming next? Yeah. No, no, no. I start I corrected myself. But um but yeah, what I was about to do red 10. So uh keep an eye out on that. Um, it's gonna I'm be on Kickstarter. It's gonna be on Kickstarter and he posted he posted a link on El Twitter for a competition. <clears throat> So you can uh, win some dark books or whatever. I don't know. But anyway, go to Kickstarter, check them out, and uh, hit hit the uh, put yourself on the mailing list so you know what's, when it's gonna happen. I believe the link has been dropped in in this chat somewhere. And let me see if I can find it. I know I put it in the chat somewhere, but I can't find it. So whatever. But anyway. If you follow El Guapo, uh, if you follow <clears throat> El Guapo Comics, make sure you go check them out. Check out what's going on. If uh, you follow us and you uh, you don't know what he's what we're talking about, hit us up on Twitter, and I'll be more than happy to share the link with you guys. You can go to Kickstarter. I think he had more success with quick with Kickstarter, so he's pretty happy over there. Um, <clears throat> so give him some love. Give him some love. And Chango is almost almost done. So that's going to be another one that should be coming soon and be at a mailbox near you. So without further ado, we got three minutes left. We can start with Shinobi Psychic. Let us know who you are, where you can be found, and all that good stuff. Okay, uh, you can find me on the Twitter, Instagram, DeviantArt, all under Shinobi Raccoon. Uh, I have a YouTube channel where I uh, record myself drawing and... I play music to it and make videos out of that. And uh, pretty soon, I'm going to I'm going to be uh, streaming more regularly on uh, Wednesdays for fan art. Cool, awesome, awesome. Your boy Trusty. As always, you can find me at Trusty Sidekick Three on Twitter, Trusty Sidekick Art on Instagram. And always with the digital bullpen. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Mr. Josh Chris Art. I'm Josh Chris Art. You can find me on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all at Josh Chris Art. And I'll be having a show at the end of this month at GalaxyCon in Louisville. So if you're actually in the Kentucky area, stop on by and uh, let's, we can have a chat. Cool. Awesome. Monsieur uh, Manny the Belt, uh, Manny Correa, Manolito, Manolo the Beard. <laughs> What's up, Manny? Beard. That's a good one. You can find me on Good Dog Press and maybe I'll live stream on Saturday night. Hmm, thinking about it. Yay! Yay. And Skunk Girl is being fulfilled, people. I shipped out a whole bunch of stuff today. So it's coming. Just remember, it's media mail, so it's going to take a little bit longer. It's got to go by ship from Hawaii to the mainland. It's not by right. air, so it takes a little while. And you can get me on Twitter, Good Dog Press, and Instagram, Unbreathable Skunk Girl. 
And once this is all fulfilled, I still got a few more tears to go, but I'm working on it, people. I want to get into you guys' hands. Nice. Thanks for having me on. Always, brother. Always, always. And, of course, I'm ERTs. And you can find me, of course, here on this YouTube channel, ERTs. You can find me as ERTs Arts on Facebook and Instagram, colorblind underscore E on Twitter. All links on the description. Well, not on this description video, but they will be soon after I do my editing portion. And um, Colonel Local Sports says, hey, you caught me at the end, brother, but thanks for dropping by. And uh, and that's pretty much it. Like I said, don't forget to uh, check out what a WAPO is coming up with. So um, check him out. Give him some love. Check out his YouTube channel when he's not giving himself copyright strikes by playing uh, Funkalicious music. Yeah. Maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll be able to get just enough of a twist on his arm to get him to come over to it where the be too hard. Is on DLive. It shouldn't be too hard. It shouldn't be too hard. But anyway, so... I wish everybody a great evening. God bless and good night. Aloha. Have a good day. Excelsior. Bye-bye.